Automated driving is one of the greatest challenges facing the vehicle industry. International automotive supplier Continental is working tirelessly to make the vision of fully automated driving a reality starting in 2025. Numerous individual steps are required to develop a car that can move independently in real traffic. One basic requirement is common to all. The vehicle must constantly know the traffic situation in its immediate vicinity, its exact location and the resulting consequences. This prototype from Continental is capable of taking full control of longitudinal guidance on a two-lane road. In other words, accelerating and braking by itself. All the driver has to do is steer, which makes things much easier. It's definitely pleasant and it's very comfortable. Um, the system is able to um, see much further into curves than the uh, human is able to do. This is merely an interim step on the road to fully automated driving. In any case, the vehicle requires a great deal of information from numerous sources. We have our camera sensor inside the vehicle, we have the radar sensor inside the vehicle. The various capabilities of these cameras and sensors produce an extremely accurate overall picture. Additionally, we have the electronic horizon from Continental, the e-horizon, which provides the vehicle with fresh map data. And as a second step, we fuse all these data sources into one environmental understanding and then we calculate a procedure for the longitudinal control of the vehicle. This means that thanks to an electronic map, the vehicle knows precisely every bend and the speed limits on any given route, so it also knows in advance the speed at which it can drive there. For the performance of uh, Curve ACC, we need special geometric data from curves themselves and these data must be stored inside the map. Naturally, the automated car must also observe other vehicles with its sensors and react accordingly. If there's a car in front of me, the system will detect the vehicle in front of me and it will always keep a safe and comfortable distance. The same problem on multi-lane highways. To address this, Continental is developing a system that allows a vehicle to drive through dense traffic under its own control. The monitor in the test vehicle shows how the sensors perceive the environment. The sensors are taking over the role of the human sensors. It's very important that the vehicle knows where it is and what's happening around it. The car is equipped all around with an array of different sensors and cameras. They create an overall picture that makes it possible to accurately assess even complex traffic situations, such as a multi-lane highway. The grey boxes are all the traffic participants around us. We want to improve this information and estimate the lane course. So we have the possibility, for, on the one hand, to have a robust lane detection of our own lane, but we have the neighboured lane as well, and we can increase the detection range. Consequently, this car can also detect lanes without needing clear and precise markings. That is crucial for automated vehicles. Existing lane detection systems usually use camera-based information, so they need white lane markers on the road to detect um, their own lane. We want to um, use further information, various measurement principles, to have the possibility to detect the road course uh, without having white lane markings. Intersections with traffic lights will also present a particular challenge to future automated vehicles. When you are driving manually uh, and you have to interpret uh, a certain scenario, you have to search for the right traffic light, which is applicable for your own lane. An automatic system has to do the same interpretation to automatically act in a regulated junction scenario. The vehicle system uses camera images and map data from the electronic horizon to break down what the human eye sees at an intersection. But that is just the beginning. In the future, we will be able to predict the behavior of traffic lights, meaning that we know when the traffic light, for example, will switch from red to green. And by knowing that, we will be able to uh, increase safety, traffic flow, as well as efficiency 
in regulated junction scenarios. Be it for highways, two-lane roads, or even city streets, Continental is developing numerous building blocks to realize the vision of fully automated driving step by step. The main goals for Continental uh, in automated driving are reduction of accidents to increase the uh, comfort for the end customer um, and also to increase the efficiency, especially by cooperation between the different cars in combination with the automation function we see a lot of potential uh, for all of these three fields.